At Coconut, we do training twice a year. So we do it uh, every summer, we get the whole team together. Um, we obviously operate from two offices, so actually having all the team together is something we don't get to do very often. Uh, so we run a summer training, which we do down in the south. Uh, two days, we'll stay over, have a bit of fun, but also cover uh, different training topics, different softwares we're using, um, just a chance to communicate to the whole team. So we do that in the summer, and then for our kind of Christmas party get together as well, we do the same thing, get together for a couple of days, have a night out, but two days where we, we have solid time of training and talking through all the new things and ideas and projects that we're working on. So the key thing for us really this year at this training is we're going to relaunch our company values, our corporate values. Um, as with every business, we have got company values, we've always had them, but the reality is like most businesses, we probably don't do enough to live and breathe them. Um, in fairness, the team probably don't even know what they are, they're kind of things that they, they would have seen in their induction. but. They, they don't live and breathe daily. So for me, a big focus for the remainder of this year is to relaunch our company values, and we've, we've done a big project to do that. And then also find ways as a team that we can use them in a daily basis, and we, um, we can really make them a kind of fundamental part of the business. So that's one of the key things that I'm looking to get out of this and hopefully get the team's buy-in on the new company values. I think the new values are really good. Um, the previous values, I have no idea what they were. I had a rough idea of the sort of things that we were aiming towards in terms of values. We have company values. How to like also give a reason anyone in the team to firstly remember them. The new values are we, we took a long time as a, as a management team to go through what we felt the values would be. Um, we also took time to consider the team and how they fit into that as well. So the new values is the, the first one is creating astonishing experiences. And by that, we mean creating amazing experiences for ourselves in the workplace, but also importantly for our clients. So everything that we do and deliver is always creating an astonishing experience of some sort. So the second core value is excellence and mastery. And that's all about um, knowing what we're good at, continually developing what we do, and being a master of our thing. So within our business being a marketing company, we all have different skill sets from like, maybe copywriting or web design or Google AdWords. So the excellence and mastery is about continually training and becoming a master in what you do. The third value is crackerjack communications. And by crackerjack, we mean very high quality. Um, being a busy agency, communications is fun fundamental really to deliver brilliant, astonishing experiences for our clients. So being one of our core values, we want to make sure that every day we're thinking about, we're, we're aware of communicating brilliantly within our team, with our clients. Um, pretty much everything we do is underpinned by great communication. The fourth one is being proactive and committed. So I think it's a great trait that we always look for in anyone within the team. Um, so proactively developing and what they're doing, if you're working on something, how can you take it a step further? Um, how can you go beyond the brief and deliver even more? So proactively thinking about what we're doing on a daily basis for every task we can do. And then committed, obviously, it's probably somewhere in everyone's corporate values. And we're lucky our team are incredibly committed anyway. Um, but I think it's something which is massively important to have in there. Number five is a pillar of support. So for us, this means being um, a great team member, offering support, um, again, something you live and breathe every day. Again, being an agency, it could be at times we're busy on certain projects. And actually, if you have a bit of time, how can you be a support to that person? So again, it goes back to communications, but how can you constantly be a pillar of support to everyone within the team and around you? And the last value is, and this one's slightly outside of the box, I mean, through this kind of exercise, we've looked at lots of different company values, but the last one is live well, um, which has a kind of much grander meaning, really, than what you do in the workplace. But when I think of the coconut team, the one thing that I think kind of unites us all is that lots of people like to live well, and we would like to have that as a value, because to us, what's really important is that work is obviously important, but actually living well, having a great life, enjoying yourself, all of those things are vitally important. So um, it's in there as a value. It's kind of one which is a little bit more dynamic than the others. It's probably harder to um, give someone a review on how well they're living, 
But if it's in there and it's part of our values and it's part of our mindset all the time, then hopefully living well and making sure you take enough time out and doing things in your working day to make sure you're not putting yourself under too much pressure and stress. Um, it's a really big one for us. So I think the live well one is one that I'm really keen to see how we develop. I think all members of the Coconut team do all have, like, all aspire to those values. But I think actually having them d written down succinctly um, really helps us all, like, make sure that we are all driving in the same direction and, and we're all working towards the same, the same values and goals. I think day one's gone really well. We're, uh, we've tried a few new things this, uh, this time. Um, we've sort of gone over what we uh, think our sort of core values will be, and just gone over them with the team and made sure that everyone's sort of happy and gets how, gets how we, they sort of the values need to work and they need to work. We did a, a really great thing, which to be honest, I think is probably the best thing that we've ever done at one of our training things, which was um, we asked sort of everyone in the team to basically spend about five or 10 minutes just going over something they've done in the last kind of sort of year or so really that they're just they're really proud of um and the kind of the really shocking thing was that there were three or four things in there which i 100 percent wasn't actually aware that we had actually really done and the effect we had had on stuff to be honest yeah i just i'm, I'm really looking forward to our escape room and uh turtle bay curries tonight and then more of the same tomorrow Me, Mark. I was shooting this video, I was editing this video, I was meant to shoot some extra bits in the evening for this video, but I was very busy and I forgot. So, sorry. So day two of training today. Um, we had a good night last night. We all went out into Winchester and did an escape room, which we all escaped from, which was pretty good. Um, and then went out for a few drinks, which is why I've got my sunglasses on this morning. So obviously we're communicating the values at training for the first time, so we're sharing them with all the team. So um, we'll be interesting, quite nervous about it actually, because we really wanna make this a fundamental part of what we do. So sharing it with the team and seeing their reaction is gonna be really crucial. Um, and then we wanna make sure that this is not like the company values have been before. We wanna make sure that these are things that we think about every day, we live and breathe and are trying to achieve on a daily basis. So we've, <clears throat> we're implementing a range of different things, really. One of them, quite simply, we use Slack as an internal communication um, channel, and we're going to have this uh, essentially software in there where we can do peer-to-peer -peer recognition based on how people are performing to the values each and every day. So hopefully it'll make people much more aware of them um, and thinking about them all the time as well. So... The best session for me this time was um, one at the end of the day yesterday where all the members of the Coconut team had 10 minutes to feed back on their, um, the achievements that they're most proud of over the last year and the kind of projects that they've been working on. I think we all kind of um, often, although we communicate really well as a team, we actually all kind of like work on very, very different things. So Steph will work on copy, um, uh, Adam will work on design that kind of thing and so sometimes it's kind of yeah easy to sort of lose what everyone else is doing and so that that um, session was really really valuable because we all kind of got to um, understand what everyone else was doing and working on what they were most proud of and how we all were all different pieces of a jigsaw that then all fits together and I think that was actually really really valuable. The thing I've learned most at training is uh... <laughs> Thing I've learned from training specifically today is that we're all very similar. I've learned. Sorry, Doc. Go on. The last two days is um, that we all have really similar approaches to um, talking to clients and talking to each other. We consider um, each other's emotions and um, connect with people on a human level, um, which I think is really rare and innovative um, within a business. 
I think company values are really important and probably, if I'm being completely honest, is something that I've massively neglected as a business owner up until the last maybe six months. Um, I'd say we've had them, but I couldn't recite them. And I think, truthfully, that's probably very similar to most business owners with teams. But what I've come to realise is that actually, and I've read a few books and done a bit of kind of research into this and spoke to other business owners that have really nailed down on what their company values are. And I kind of appreciate now that if everyone in the same team shares and lives these company values day to day, then it can only have a really positive impact on our business, a positive impact on the work we're doing for clients. So we, we are going through a bit of a transition at the moment and I just think really nailing down these company values and having the team really aware of them as well is going to really set us up well for the future.